I was just in my local farmer's market and discovered the most beautiful, plump, juicy, bright green tomatoes. And I thought, well, this is a fun topic. We should explore this for WTF. Today's sponsor is Ameline, and you can check them out online at amelinegourmet.com. Ameline produces one of my favorite things in the world, which is mustard. You have no clue how many jars of mustard I have in my house at any given time. It's ridiculous. It's like a uber bachelor pad, even though I'm not a bachelor. Anyway, Ameline Gourmet, wonderful mustards. My favorite type of mustard is Dijon mustard, and that's exactly what they produce. They produce Dijon mustard from France, in the Burgundy region, they use actual Burgundy wines, they use black mustard seeds and produce an amazingly creamy product. They have a few different varieties. This is my favorite, it uses white wine. Um, this is perfect, I have guilty pleasures. I even spoon a little bit in my mouth at times, sometimes just eat it, but it's perfect on a sandwich. You can put it on some turkey, ham and cheese sandwich, you can cook with this. You could even put it on barbecue before you put your rub on and it would be amazing. Um, this is a really delicious product. I think you guys should check them out online at amelinegourmet.com and get your hands on some of their mustards today. So today we're talking about green tomatoes and specifically we're talking about the southern dish called fried green tomatoes. Now there is no science to green tomatoes or why they are green. It's really simple. They're underripe. In the south it's become a tradition to pick underripe tomatoes because they grow so abundantly that if you didn't pick them, the weight would actually pull all the vines to the ground, they wouldn't get sun, and nothing would grow. So with all these green tomatoes, people had to come up with something to do with them. And after all, it is the South, so there's only one thing that you can do with them, fry them up. So people picked the most traditional coating that they had, which is cornmeal, which is a popular staple in the South. It's something that they use to batter fish before they fry it. Um, and it's really popular because corn is really popular in the South. So they put some cornmeal on top of them, put them into a shallow pan to pan fry, and fried green tomatoes were born. Now, there are a number of regional variations to this dish. The New Orleanians are often putting remoulade sauce on fried green tomatoes. If you go over to Pennsylvania, you'll see that the Dutch decide to batter their fried green tomatoes in actually a flour batter, not cornmeal. And here up north, people are using heirloom tomatoes that are actually just green when they are ripe, such as the green zebra variety of tomato. One of my favorite ways to eat a fried green tomato is on a sandwich for breakfast with a little Dijon mustard, as well as a fried egg. I think it is a beautiful combination. So today I'm going to show you how I fry up my green tomatoes. First, cut your green tomatoes into half inch slices. Heat up a heavy bottom pan with a good amount of oil, and in three separate bowls, measure out some flour, a beaten egg, and one part cornmeal to one part breadcrumbs. Now take your tomato, dip it in some flour, then put it in your beaten egg, then put it in the cornmeal breadcrumb mixture, and pop it into your frying pan. Cook it for about three minutes on each side at oil that's about 350 degrees. Let them rest for a few minutes, then just serve and enjoy. These are beautiful, as I said, as a breakfast treat. You could use them in a salad. You could just snack on them throughout the day, or they're hard enough to stand up to something like some pork or some steak for dinner. Check out our sponsor, amelinegourmet.com, and I will see you tomorrow with another What's This Food.